so I'm curious, do you have a, like, do you have a definition of a bimbo? Like it, it, for you personally, I know that there might be some people that, but like to you, what, what, what is a bimbo? Well, to me, just because of how I was growing up, again, how I mentioned mm -hmm. how, like, you know, I was surrounded by a lot of, like, toxic mm -hmm. cultures of, like, ooh, if you, you know, dress pink, you're a mean girl, a Regina George, and that's bad kind of a thing. You know, no one wants to be that. Yeah. So I would say that being a bimbo is a rebellion. Mm -hmm. And I, because it's a embracing of everything that society tells you is not Shouldn't what be. you should do. You should not get plastic surgery. You should just love how you are. You should not wear bright colors and try to stand out and be the center of attention. Your makeup should be very small, natural. And, you know, the bimbo does complete opposite of that. It yeah. embraces individuality. It embraces mm. color and it and contrast. And also... Mm. As a woman, we're often told like, oh, you know, sex is a taboo. You know, you shouldn't be, don't want to be a slut. Us being a slut is bad. Mm -hmm. The bimbo, again, embraces self-pleasure, embraces mm -hmm. being sexual. Yeah. And I think all of those things are a rebellion of society norms okay. in a feminine package. And yeah. that that's what being a bimbo to me is. Okay. Yeah. What? That works. <laughs> um, what, I what would you say your favorite thing about being a bimbo would be? I am allowed to completely be myself okay. and be and be embraced in that way. Like I the more I'm myself, the more I'm open and honest with my fan base or mm -hmm. you know just like even wearing an outfit like today, you know, I yeah. I could never imagine wearing it like this little, you know, dress today like 10 years ago. I'd be too yeah. shy. I'd be yeah, like, yeah, "Oh, yeah. I don't want people to look at me. Oh, that's that's scary." You yeah. know, but now I'm like, "Hi." <laughs> yeah. And it's also been wonderful to see that there's been studies shown that the more outrageous outfits you wear, it's actually safer for a woman to wear. Interesting. There's a tie between being safe as far as in like, um, you know, like I'm going to get real serious for a second because I think this is so fascinating. Okay. Um, but like there's been ties between, you know, people who unfortunately get kidnapped or taken and stuff. They're always wearing black they're always yeah. wearing like very minimal clothing, very like little very makeup. Very nondescript. Yeah, their hair is always you know. like one color, black, you know, brown, like very, mm. that could be anyone on the street. When you describe someone, it's like, oh, there's a million people who have brown hair. I, I don't know. But people who dress like this are not getting kidnapped because no. I am so remember, I'm memorable. memorable. Yeah, yeah, memorable, you know, yeah. Like by people on the street be like, oh yeah, I saw that, that weirdo. Like, yeah, I remember. So mm. like even being a bimbo is like, being more like safe, you know, the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, and that, that is so interesting to me. So I mm. really do want more women to be like, hey, wear that bright pink dress. It's actually, yeah. you're just going to feel good about yourself, but it's also good for you. Yeah. You know, which is so interesting. I and, love that. Well, and, and, and I, I want to, it's interesting because I want to, I want to go back to what you were saying, how, uh, so you think Mean Girls was essentially an indictment against women, like, like the, what were they called in the movie? Mean Girls. No, 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 oh, no. But what, like their click? Oh, their, their click. Yeah, it was the um. God, what was it called? The the they had they the, had the plastics. Plastics. Right? Yeah. So Thank it was you. like All the right. popular girls lost yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. But yeah, the plastics. Yeah, because it was supposed to be like Lindsay Lohan's character's like the good the the hero, and she's rejects all of the the whatever that they yes. do. So do you think that that movie kind of unfairly maligned women trying to embrace that kind of you know you know that kind of bimbo? you know, aesthetic. Right. Well, I do think that there's something to be said about um, mean high school girls because yeah, that is yeah, a real yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, often, well, did you ever see the movie Heathers? Yes. The 80s movie? Yes. That's like a dark version of Mean yeah. Girls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's like take Mean Girls and add some, you know, sprinkle in some really dark stuff oh, in boy. there. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. So, but. <laughs> but also, I got to say that it was also, you know, it's interesting. Mean Girls is also a great show because it also shows like, uh, Lindsay Lohan's character. I'm sorry, to, I'm forgetting everyone's characters' names, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. she's friends with um, the goth chick, right? Yeah. And it's also wrong of her to like, you know, judge all of them, you know, when she doesn't really know, she only knows Regina in the movie, but like yeah. the other girls, she's like, oh, they're so gross, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you don't really know them, so it's also mean of you to judge. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then I look back, back at my high school, Stephanie, who was like this very introverted art school nerd mm -hmm. chick, didn't have a lot of friends, was not popular at all. Mm -hmm. And I thought like, wow, I was really judgmental 
of like all the popular girls. I didn't know them, but I assumed that they were vapid and shallow like and all bitchy mean. And, yeah. yeah, like, but the, uh, looking back, I'm like, I didn't really know them. Maybe they mm-hmm. were really nice. I don't know. Another, but maybe not. Well, I was going to say another movie I was thinking of is a jawbreaker with yeah. Rose McGowan. Oh, fantastic. An- another Love one of those, those. Yeah, in, yeah. The, in the pantheon of mean girl movies. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Where, uh, where I think underrated villain, in my opinion, uh, of Absolutely. Rose McGowan, where she's just, she, I feel like she just really just, relishes every scene that she's yes. in where she gets to be like a really just mean I love it for, yeah, she's it, great yeah she's great in there but, <laughs> but um, yeah so I think it's like it's interesting uh, however I do really like that they resolved it like they gave you know Karen and the mm-hmm. other n- non-Regina George girls like they're they redeem themselves. They yeah, found they gave, their they own personality, moments. Yeah. you know? And I was like, that's great. They're not all bad. They're not all deemed horrible, you yeah. know? And I do love the idea of all of them, women kind of, we're all going to have peace and we're all just going to mm. like, you're going to do your thing. That's cool. I'm going to do my thing. Yeah. That's also cool. And that's where I would love to be because yeah. I do think, you know, all of us um, judging like, okay, well, I don't like that type of woman. You know, for me, it's like I'm obviously not a very conservative person, Mm -hmm. but I will fight tooth and nail for women who are, you know, conservative, whether religious or otherwise, for them to have their rights, always. To live the life that that they want to live. live. Always. You know, because like— Regardless of what you think about feminism, we're here because of it. Yeah. I can open up my own bank account because of feminism. Yeah. I can drive because yeah. of that. Like little things like that. So yeah. I will always champion people who have completely different lifestyles than me mm-hmm. to live their life freely. Yeah. So, And I think that, you know, bimbos are on the front line of that. We're mm-hmm. always going to be standing up for people's rights. Yeah.